All right, folks, today is an absolutely beautiful day. This morning when I woke up to go to the gym, the temperature was actually 48 degrees. It's a little chilly, but it was nice. I work out in an open-air gym, so it was kind of nice to just be cool for once. Uh, the high today got up to about 68, I think. So we're in fall. I mean, at least for now. I guess we could pop back out of it. Uh, who knows? Uh, but today I wanted to do a couple things. Uh, I've been putting off putting down my pre-emergent. I don't think I'm too late. The, the soil temperature is still pretty warm, even though the air temperature has cooled off. And I also wanted to give you an update on what the putting green looks like with the perennial ryegrass. So let's do that first. Let's go down to the bottom of the hill and I will show you what the perennial ryegrass is looking like. And then we'll get to the pre-emergent. So let's go. But before we go there, let's take a look at this real quick. One of the things I'm starting to do, and it's going to be a different uh, video, is I'm digging out my downspouts and putting in pop-ups for now, which I'm going to run all the way down to the bottom of the hill over there. But for now, I'm putting in pop-ups. I need to do all of this stuff before I actually seed because I want the seed to cover up all the places where I have dug up the trenches. As you can see, the tenacity is doing its job over here on the side. I'm actually a little surprised at how much weeds are over here. I thought most of this was fescue, but just goes to show you I'm a Bermuda guy and don't know much about fescue. So that's okay. We're going to be overseeding over here and that should take care of all of that. Let's go down the hill. We've got some good germination, especially when we look at this from an angle over here. I'll go to the other side where the sun is pointing into the camera right now should be able to see a better look but everything that's really nice in that dark green right especially right in there that is all the perennial ryegrass it's actually grown up quite a bit i'm pretty happy with it in fact you can see some really nice growth there now the one thing i will say is the tenacity did as advertised to the bermuda in fact you can see the bleaching right there now I know I got a few people on my comments that said that it was a terrible idea and I shouldn't have done that, but here's the thing that everybody needs to remember when it comes to my lawn. It's my lawn and it's just grass. I mean, worst case scenario, if I kill my Bermuda off completely, which I don't think I did, but let's say I did, worst case scenario in the spring, I seed it and start over. It's okay. This isn't even my lawn, technically. So... I'm just trying to make this a nice part of my yard because nobody really takes care of this back part of my yard. So I'm not worried about it. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the big thing. I didn't do this to my main lawn. I didn't do any of that to it. So I'm good with the way the progress is so far. And again, I'm trying to get this lawn to be a perennial ryegrass lawn during the off season. I don't really care about what it looks like because it's just gonna turn brown anyway. When you look right there, you can see all that green coming in. And then you can take a look back that way. So all the dark stuff you see obviously is the little bit of compost that's pushing through and some of the leftovers from the peat moss. And then right here where I've been having trouble growing, that makes me pretty happy because that's getting full. And then uh, you can definitely see the bleaching over here on this side. Uh, we can see all of that white there. But again, I'm not worried about it. I'm okay. It's going to be all right. I promise you. So today we're going to be putting down this uh, prodiamine. It is made by Sunnyland Corporation. I got it from Yard Mastery. And if you look at the label, it's actually a 007. So we've got no nitrogen and no phosphorus. So we've got a little bit of potassium, which is great this time of the year, especially um, as we're going into dormancy. And then it's 38% prodiamine, which is the active ingredient for the pre-emergent. Now, one thing I want to talk about is why I'm using this now. So I'll be honest with you, up until last year, I had never done pre-emergent in the fall. I always did it in the spring, early spring, late winter, and always had great success. But last year was the first time I actually did it, and it was really useful for the types of weeds that come up in the winter, which is in our area is gonna be the Poa annua. So I, if you remember in the spring, I had tons of issues with that. I was pretty much pulling it because I didn't want to throw a bunch more of, a bunch more herbicides down to kill the Poa. So this is an attempt to do a better job of trying to control that for the spring. And then I will actually use this product in the actual late winter, early spring 
for the things that are really the issues that I typically deal with, which is crabgrass mostly in this area. This is a 45 pound bag. It actually covers 18,000 square feet. I have about 6,500 square feet. So I only need about a third of the bag. The reason why I got this bag was a couple reasons. Number one, I'll be able to use it again in the spring, but also it's because I took too long to order it and the 25 pound bags were out of stock, but that's okay. I'm gonna save it, I'll use it. And then I'll use it as a third application in late spring, which is the one thing I did not do this year which is why I ended up having some crabgrass that was creeping in from my neighbor's lawns. This bag should last me for this whole year just because of the size of my lawn. I am gonna avoid the side lawns because I'm gonna be seeding that eventually. And I'm definitely gonna avoid the bottom of the hill because even though I have germination down there, I'm afraid that there may be some seeds that haven't germinated yet. And this will definitely prevent that germination from happening. So I'm gonna be very, very careful to not get it on there. Now, I know some folks are going to say, well, this is going to get in the soil and it's still going to do that. I get that. But, you know, you got to pick your battles, right? So I would much rather be weed free and have a little bit of, of uh, effect on the bottom of the hill. But uh, I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to put this stuff down no matter what anybody says. So let's get to it. Friend is back turn up my flower beds. I'll get him one of these days. All right, folks, that's it for today. It's a perfect day to be outside. Weather is just fabulous. So that takes care of my pre-emergent for the fall. Uh, got a couple more things I gotta work on and I'm working on with other projects. Obviously the seating on the side, the downspout pop-ups that I've got to do on both sides. Uh, those are coming up. I don't have a lot more mowing to do. I mowed a couple days ago and it's just not growing very fast. So. It is what it is. Hey, I'm taking a break from Maui. And uh, we'll be back at it here pretty soon. Hope you guys are having a great fall so far. Hope you're having a great week. And uh, if you like this video, and only if you really like it and you feel so inclined, please hit the like button. And uh, if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave those down below as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And if you wanna be notified of future videos, don't forget to hit that bell and I will be sure to put out some more content here soon. So with that, have a great night and we will see you on the next one.